Hi everyone, it's Reverend Sherry. It is Friday night, as you can tell, it's nighttime behind me. Uh, and I was just thinking, you know, I was reading something for inspiration for myself. I'm, there's a lot of change happening in my experience. I'm transitioning out of my job. I'm returning to be an, an entrepreneur full time. Um, so it's an exciting time and, and uh, I just, but it's also a time of a lot of change. And there is, um, you know, a need for encouragement, but I figured if I need encouragement, somebody else is probably going through a lot of change and they need some encouragement too. And so I just wanted to share this with you. I'm reading from, it's one of my favorite books, uh, Around the Year with Emmett Fox. And uh, Emmett Fox is an incredible writer. This is a, uh, a compilation of his work. And what I'm gonna read from you comes from The Temple of Solomon. And it says, then comes the ivory. This stands for undue attachment to a particular teacher, a particular textbook, or a particular church or other organization. It is a mistaken loyalty. It is an unselfish era, but a deadly one. Any religious teacher or writer, however eminent, any church or center, however much beloved, is still a means to an end. And the end itself is spiritual growth. Recognize with gratitude all the help you receive from any source, but remember that your loyalty is due to God through your own spiritual development. You must feel free at any time to go wherever you get the most help, irrespective of personal considerations. And I think that that's so important because we grow up in churches, we grow up in spiritual traditions where we feel like we have to be loyal to that. But our honor and our loyalty and our respect is due only to God. And we have to go where we are getting good information. And that's not just true in a spiritual sense, that's true in a financial sense, that's true in an emotional sense. That's true in a, um, a physical sense that if you want results, you have to go where you're getting results. And so that's the lesson that I take this evening. I've been working on my rep, my um, website, RevSherry.com and really just looking for good information. And at the end of the day, my responsibility is to go where I'm getting good information and then to trust that. And the way that I know that is to be in touch with the Spirit of God inside of me, to ask the right questions, and then to trust the uh, information that I'm being given. And so if I had to give you kind of something that you can do to help you um, do this in your own experience, I would say take whatever you're working with, whether it's your love life or your finances or um, your, um, your spiritual growth or whatever that is, and just take a moment and get quiet and ask, where am I to get the right information for me? And then just listen. It may come in a hunch, it may come in an inkling. You don't know where the information is gonna come. What you have to trust is that the Spirit of God inside of you will reveal that information. And so you don't have to wonder what to do. Um, you know. If you're like me, I'm, I'm just, I can only speak for myself, but I know that I have lived life and felt like uh, my life has been on pause. And I'm at a point now where it's like, let me push play and keep going. And so, uh, but sometimes when I want to push play, I don't really know where I want to go. And I don't really know the next right step. Well, the beauty is that inside of me, within me, is all the knowledge that I need in order to make that right step. So I encourage you to do that. Just tonight, um, ask yourself that question. What is the next right step for me to take? If you like this video, um, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want more goodies like this, I encourage you to do two things. One, head over to my website, RevSherry.com and subscribe to my newsletter, but also check out the site. I've got tons and tons of free goodies for you, classes, um, meaning video classes that you can take, um, blog posts where I'm writing about spiritual topics to address things that, that you're working with in your life. Um, definitely go over and explore the site. I've got a wealth of information there. And then join us Thursday nights. Um, I do a Bible class. Right now we're in the middle of a series on the book of Revelation and we'll be doing that through July 10th. 
So I, I hope this helps you. I hope this provided enormous value for you. Um, I see you living the life of your dreams. I see me living the life of my dreams. So this is as much for me as it is for you. But I figured if I need it, somebody else needed it. So have a great night. Um, and I just affirm that the light of God surrounds you. The love of God enfolds you. The power of God protects you. And the presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is and so it is.